Kanban at scale with SIPSA or the SIPSA framework. In this video, we are going to discuss the differences between product backlog and the SIPSA Kanban backlog. This video is for aspiring SIPSA professionals or SIPSA certified professionals and scale design practitioners. So here we have a pictorial representation. On the left hand side, we have the product backlog. It's a single product backlog which will be cross team refined. From the product backlog, we take some of the product backlog items from the top and build the SIPSA Kanban backlog. So this arrow mark is showing that the SIPSA Kanban backlog will be prepared from the product backlog. Now here are the differences. In this table on the left hand side we have the product backlog. On the right hand side we have the SIPSA Kanban backlog. So difference number one. The product backlog is a single one and one of the key artifacts in the SIPSA framework or the SIPSA Kanban framework. The SIPSA Kanban backlog comes from the product backlog. The SIPSA Kanban backlog is also a key artifact. And the third key artifact is the SIPSA integrated increment. Difference number two, the product backlog will have the product backlog items. In the SIPSA Kanban backlog, you will have some of the product backlog items, the high order ones. Difference number three, the product backlog is a live document and continuously updated. The product backlog, in other words, is not a static document. If you have new requirements coming up, those will be added up to the product backlog. And of course, the prioritization will happen. The SIPSA Kanban backlog, on the other hand, will be for a release. And when the release is over, this backlog will be discarded. In Kanban, we do not have the concept of iteration. Rather, we can go for a release based on a cadence. In Kanban 2, we do not have a concept of having various meta events. However, in the SIPSA Kanban framework, I have advised to go for meta events. That way, your release is pretty smooth. Difference number four, the chief product owner or the CPO or the chief service request manager or CSRM owns the product backlog. So in Kanban, we have a concept of chief service request manager if you are developing for a service. If you are developing for a product, the role will be called as the chief product owner. On the other hand, the SIPSA team will own the SIPSA Kanban backlog. The SIPSA Kanban team is a combination of individual Kanban teams. Together, they are going to own the SIPSA Kanban backlog. Difference number five. The product backlog does not contain any meta events. The SIPSA Kanban backlog will contain meta events such as SIPSA planning, SIPSA daily standups, SIPSA reviews, SIPSA retrospective. Those will be available in the SIPSA Kanban backlog. So these are the differences between product backlog and SIPSA Kanban backlog. There are many differences. I have highlighted five of them. I believe with this you have more clarity with respect to the differences between product backlog and the SIPSA Kanban backlog. I would definitely suggest again to download the SIPSA framework guide to understand it. It's a very simple guide and easy to follow. Again, most important of all, it is practical and hands-on using software tools. I have used MS Project Agile software tool. You can use any other software tool which is telling that Agile management is possible. MS Project Agile gives exhaustive capability with respect to management for Scrum or management using Kanban framework. Finally, subscribe to this channel, press on the bell icon and there is a detailed article explaining the differences between product backlog and SIPSA Kanban backlog. Watch the video, also go through the article. And if you like it, inform your colleagues, friends or co-working professionals.